Invest Engine Savings Plans is the latest new feature Invest Engine has released on its platform. And in this video, I'm going to explain exactly what to expect if you're thinking about using an Invest Engine Savings Plan and the three things you must know if you want to make the most of Invest Engine's latest offering. Folks, Future David here. Invest Engine are running a competition for August where you can win a thousand pounds. All you have to do to enter is open a savings plan before the 31st of August and you will be in with a chance to win that a thousand pounds. There is a link in the description below with more information. Let's get on with the video. Just before before we get started please remember that none of this is financial advice and if you're considering making any kind of investment at all please remember that the value of your investment can go up and down and you may get back less than you put in. So with that in mind let's get into it. If you are a long-term investor in stocks and shares you likely have a plan to invest on a regular basis. You might be investing monthly, you might be investing weekly, maybe it's just whenever and however you earn an extra few pounds, euros, dollars, whatever. Invest Engine have brought this idea of savings plans to users of their DIY and their managed offerings. And this is definitely going to help all my fellow Invest Engine investors to get completely on the autopilot and automate their entire investing strategy. Automated investing just means you can take all the emotion out of your long-term plan. It lets you be as hands-off as possible with your investing and it means you aren't going to get caught up in silly nonsense like trying to time the market or guessing when to invest based on market movements or conditions. Alright, so the first thing you need to know about Invest Engine savings plans is that they are so flexible for scheduling deposits. So I think most people would be aware of automated monthly deposits for their investing, whether that's with Invest Engine, any other investing platform, or with your bank, for example. You typically set up a direct debit or a standing order, however it is you do it, and then on the first of the month, you move some money automatically to your investing account. Invest Engine has gone one step further with their savings plans. So when using an Invest Engine savings plan, you get to choose when you want to make your regular deposit, either weekly, fortnightly, or monthly. Invest Engine have tapped into the latest open banking technology called Variable Recurring Payments, or VRPs for short. It's completely up to you when you invest and how much. You can even choose which day of the week you want your regular payments to be made. So with this added flexibility offered by Invest Engine savings plans, you can get another great benefit that aims to help long-term investors and that's dollar cost averaging. So Invest Engine Savings Plans offer investors a convenient means to capitalize on the widely recognized risk management technique known as pound cost averaging, or also referred to as dollar cost averaging, depending on your geography. So this approach, first coined by an economist by the name of Benjamin Graham in 1949, involves spreading investments over time with the aim of offsetting any crazy market swings. The idea here is that through spreading your investment over time consistently, you are investing in the highs and the lows of the stock market. It's essentially the opposite of trying to time the market. And by the way, this Benjamin Graham fella, he also wrote a book called The Intelligent Investor, which Warren Buffett himself called the best book about investing ever written. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. I highly recommend you check it out. It's very, very good. The second thing you need to know about Invest Engine Savings Plans are the cash buffers. So even if you have Auto Invest switched on as part of your savings plan, you can set a cash buffer. So the point of this is that you'll always have a little bit of cash in reserve. So for example, if you start with a cash balance of zero, you can set a cash buffer of £100. And if you deposit £200, then only £100 of that deposit will actually be invested. This isn't a bad feature. I have to say I feel it could be improved. It would be good. If you could set a cash buffer maybe as a percentage of your portfolio, so for example setting 10% of the value of your portfolio as a cash buffer would be more beneficial than perhaps setting a hard figure. The reason being that as your portfolio hopefully grows through consistent investing then you may want to keep your cash buffer at a level that is consistent with the size of your portfolio. It's a small gripe at this stage but it's something I think could really add to this feature of a cash buffer. I'm going to show you how all this works in the app in just a second, but the third thing you need to know about Invest Engine savings plans are the limitations. So Invest Engine say that you can start from as little as £10 for your recurring payment, but in practice it's worth noting that some certain banks might not offer the option of variable recurring payments and instead they're going to establish a higher threshold of £50 for recurring payments. Further, when I actually tried setting up a savings plan on a portfolio with less than £100 already in it, I was prevented from doing so, so it seems that a portfolio has to already have a minimum of £100 already deposited before you can take advantage of this facility. Anyway, let's get into Invest Engine's website and I'll have a look at how this gets set up. Okay, here we are in my ISA holding for this year. It is with Invest Engine and we'll just scroll down and have a little look at my DIY2. That's my uh, self-managed investment portfolio for 2023-24. So part of my strategy for this year is to make my investing as simple as possible. There's tons of stuff going on and honestly investing 
is important to me, but it's the last thing I want to expend any extra brain power on. So what I've done with my Invest Engine ISA this year is just to power everything down into one single ETF. That is a Vanguard FTSE All World Index, VWRL. Clicking through into the details then, you can see it's basically around 3,500 different shares, stocks around the world, and it is a diversified portfolio just in one single holding. That's why I like it. So to make my investing life even simpler, I am going to implement this savings plan option offered by Invest Engine. You can see I already have my auto invest is on. So any time that cash, whether that be from dividends or from deposits or anything, lands in my account, that uh, cash is automatically invested. And that gives me a sort of hands off approach to making sure my money's always going in and working for me. So to set up this savings plan, we just click the set up savings plan button. We get a little blurb about what that's about. Saving plan lets you regularly invest in selected securities or in your cash portfolio. By setting up this plan, you're enabling auto invest for this portfolio and instructing invest engine to invest after each top up according to your chosen ETF weight and so on and so forth. We hit continue. The first thing we we'll want to do is pick the frequency. I want to invest weekly. The more investing points I can get in, then in theory, with that dollar cost, pound cost averaging, we're gonna see a smoother upward curve. It's not always gonna be the case, but rather than investing in big chunks at the beginning or the end of a financial year, for example, the more contact points you have with your investments, the smoother in theory that averaging out should be. So we'll go with weekly. I'm gonna choose Monday, get the week off to a good start, and I'm gonna invest uh, 50 pounds. Once we've done that and we click continue, you'll be taken off to your own bank's portal to finalize all those details. A few moments later. Once you've got all that done, you'll get a little confirmation that your savings plan is set up. You can look at those details if you wish. And then we hit continue. So one last thing to talk about are the cash buffers. So if we go into this auto invest section here and we scroll down to the auto invest available cash, you can set a cash buffer. So if, for example, we set this cash buffer to 100 and there is 300 pounds in the account, then it will only auto invest the first 200. You'll always have at least 100 pounds set in your cash buffer. This is the part that I was talking about. It'd be nice if you could set this as a percentage of your overall portfolio so that your cash buffer would grow as your investments do. But that's not there at the moment. At the moment, we put in hard figures and that'll keep a little a little buffer, exactly what it says on tin um, for all your investments. You'll always have a little bit of cash in reserve. So that's it. A quick glance at the portfolio says I currently have £12,485 invested with Invest Engine in my ISA. If you are interested in trying Invest Engine, there is a link in the description below. They are running a competition for August uh, where you can win up to £1,000. I'll leave full details of that in the description below. So if you have any comments or questions on anything you've seen so far today, make sure you leave a wee note down below and I'll see you in the next one.